Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I am Brian, if you're new here, but today I am going to be showing you folks the latest addition to our little camping arsenal. So yesterday afternoon, I picked up our new to us RV. So let me spin you around and show you what we picked up. So this is our Jayco J-Flight SLX-7 Baja 184 bunkhouse. So this actually is going to be absolutely perfect for our family because we wanted a little bit smaller camper. I looked at a couple of 28 foot campers and didn't want to deal with the hassle of such a large camper. So this fits the bill for everything that we need. It's got a bunkhouse, it's got a slide, it's got a full size queen bed, everything fits the bill. Now, if you notice this, with this thing being a Baja, it actually sits up six inches higher. So this is a raised RV. So technically you could take it off road, but that's why it looks a little bit higher than, than most standard typical RVs. And it does come with some American Goodyear tires. Those are brand new tires. Uh, you got your 10 foot, 10 foot awning up here, LED lights underneath it. I'll try to show you guys a night shot of that here later. You got your dinette slide, tinted windows, and right now I'm just uh, doing a little vinegar bath in the hot water tank. This unit was absolutely perfectly clean when I picked it up, but I'm OCD, so I wanted to go ahead and just make sure that this uh, hot water tank was getting cleaned out. 30 amp output. You got your spare tire on the back. And I kind of like what this guy did here. So he put one of these little ammo boxes on the back of the bumper. And this is where he stores all of his poop utensils. But those are my poop utensils. They're not his. I threw his away. Those are mine. <laughs> so, so it does have three steps. So most RVs typically only have two, but with this thing's lifted, you got three accordion style steps. So walking in here, you've got a full-size queen, not a camp queen, but a full-size queen, nice memory foam mattress. You can lift it up here and you've got storage all underneath. Outlet under the window. This does have a 100 watt solar panel up on the roof, so this is already wired for solar. Um, I'll have to tinker with that a little bit more, but I'll probably put a few more panels up on the roof, but right now it does have a 30 amp charge controller already built into this unit. You got your emergency exit. You got some nice overhead storage cabinets, push button LED lights. The previous owner upgraded to the 13,500 air conditioning unit. This unit typically comes with an 8,000 BTU window unit that goes into this cubby hole right here, but Instead, we just have extra storage. And then over here, you can see our slide out dinette. And this actually can sit four people very, very comfortably. And you can take this table down, scoot the cushions over, and it becomes a pretty decent sized little bed. We'll probably use it for the dogs. But down here, we've got some storage. <laughs> we've only put some bowls and some kitchen utensils and stuff in here right now. We're still working on figuring out how to stock this thing. Um, but over here, You've got your power awning switch. You've got your slide switch, your lights. Uh, for a 12 volt TV in your, in your cable input, then you got an outlet here and then all of your, your tank displays and your battery display right there. Got a radio, more overhead cabinet storage. We just put a couple of plates and uh, some mixing bowls. The wife got a hold of this. Oh, and the wife also put that rug down but you do have two propane burners here, an actual active hood with a light and a fan, your microwave, and then a huge pantry. So, I mean, you guys, I mean, my almost goes up to my shoulder on that thing, but all the way down, we've already loaded it up with some kids' toys, more storage down here, and some plumbing. And for the kids, of course, we got the bunk beds here, so, my oldest son has claimed the top one so far and the daughter's gonna sleep down there with the window. But you do have a couple of outlets down there with a light and then up top you just have the light. And then the bathroom where all the magic happens. Nice toilet, yada yada. And then a pretty decent sized little shower. Um, or a tub, I guess. So, so our kids get super dirty out camping so this will be perfect to let them just kind of take a quick bath before bedtime. 
but a skylight and this was upgraded with an actual vent fan normally this is just a skylight so we do have a vent fan in the bathroom but overall guys this is just right now at least it's the absolute perfect size for us but guys i'm 6'1 and i'm not having a duck at all in fact i'm hitting the speaker there but um plenty of room to walk around having that full-size queen bed is amazing and this ac upgraded ac is absolutely fantastic so we couldn't be any happier with this right now and the fact that it was just so super clean we really have didn't have to do anything now I did spend most of the night last night out here just scrubbing and so I wanted everything to be spick and span. And we are having an impromptu camping trip tomorrow. So we're a little bit frantic right now trying to get everything put together for our little trip tomorrow to take this thing out because I can't keep this at my house. You guys will see a lot more of this next week. So I'm not going to make this a huge long video. I was just excited and I wanted to show you folks what we picked up. But we are taking the family out tomorrow for its maiden voyage and we are super excited so we're pretty pumped about that uh who knows how it's gonna go you know we might find a couple of things wrong with it and that's just normal for rvs things go wrong with rvs i know but but all of the main components of this rv just seemed really solid and really well taken care of so for, for the people that we bought this from thank you so much for taking good care of, of your rv but you know we're also excited about being able to sit all four of us around the table for breakfast in the morning um, eat some eggs, do some good things. Got a huge window right here to look out, so it's gonna be fantastic. But gang, again, I don't wanna draw this video out because you're gonna see a lot more of this camper next week, but um, I just had to show you folks since, since I mentioned that I was going to go pick up the RV in the last video, so here it is, guys. And uh, you'll see a lot more of this this summer, I'm sure, but anyway, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you soon. Take care.